Hi everyone, Serious Blue here with a Broid tutorial focusing on hair presets. So we'll go over a few different things. So just stay tuned. Uh, hopefully I will cover what it is that you're looking for in this video because we'll be focusing on importing them. So how the Freud hair presets can be put into both the beta and stable versions of Freud. I'll just call the new version stable so that you know <laughs> there's a difference. Uh, the beta version is still available. I don't know for how long, but it is still there if you want to get it. And Broid Studio, of course, can be downloaded for free through their website or through Steam, and it works on Windows and Mac currently. So it is updated quite regularly as well. So I would recommend uh, checking to see if you guys need any updates because they, they are very, very efficient at fixing problems. <laughs> All right, so. This is Booth. This is my Booth store specifically. So you might have purchased a preset and you just need to find the folder or you wish to maybe sell your own presets and you're like, okay, I need to access the folder in order to save this somewhere else so that I can resell it. So uh, for whatever reason, you've got a preset like this one. This is an old one that I made. And you want to figure out how the heck do I get it into <laughs> Freud, essentially. So there are two versions here. This will be written in the description if you just want to, you know, take that and off your pop, get going, or you can stay and listen and watch how I do it myself. So in the beta version, uh, it is a little bit different to the stable version and as in which folder it goes into. So you want to get onto your local disk or wherever it is you installed it, users, your username, and then you'll go to app data, app, app, app data here. And then local low, and then we'll go to Pixiv. Now the key thing to remember here is this one that is just one word is the beta version. This one up here that is separated into two is the stable version. So this is the new one, this is the old one, okay? So that's the main differences here. So if you want to get into the old one, basically it's just hair presets. They are the .json files, which is a different file to what we use in the new Droid. So it has a materials folder and the .json in the preset and they're numbered and you can't rename these at least uh, when I tried, which was a while ago, by the way, um, I couldn't rename it. So maybe it's changed, but that was just my experience with that. Um, all right, so now we're looking at the new stable version. You will click this and then you'll go to custom items, hair presets. No, we don't look at that. Custom items. And then N00 all hair. And this is where you'll find your custom hair items. If you save them under and they come up under a different tab. So I'll just open the program to show you what I mean. And I'm opening it on a different monitor, just so we can have a peep. Have a little peepity peep. Trying to make things work a little bit easier, but I could be overcomplicating it. It's fine. <laughs> okay. So you're in the program. We've got hairstyles. And what you want to do is look at custom. So this would be the front. So there should be custom files in the front. Front, 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 front. Hair back, hair front. There you go. So these correspond with these files. If I delete that, there you go. Did you see one here? Did I? I'll move it over here so that we can do it a little bit better. Let's delete this one. Ta da! So, uh, yeah, I just, they were there for no reason, those ones. So that's where. You'll see, see how that's just saved as the front? It's interesting, isn't it? Uh, basically, that is how the program itself relates to this list. All right, so for the most part, you're going to go for all hair, because that's generally where things saved. Go into your custom, and then there should be one, two, three, four. Yep, four files. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm going to copy, copy these into another folder, paste. And then, and then what I'm going to do, oh god, is let's not do that one first. Let's do this one. Okay. Let us delete this. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. So now you can see there's three instead of four. Um, let's have a look. Which folder was it? This one? I think. Seven. Yes. So this is the one that was deleted. So what I'm actually going to do is rename this now. Rename. I'm going to call this blue. Uh, what should I call it? Blue moon. We'll call it blue moon. Oops, not mom. Blue moon. Okay, now we're going to take blue moon and we're going to yeet this back into here. And for this to work, I'm fairly certain I'm going to have to restart the program. So, again, we haven't touched this. We haven't touched this. No, 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 no. Okay, so we're going to close it. Do not save. Not saving. Not saving. Now, we're going to open the program again. Now, these are like additional steps, but I'm showing you kind of how it works. And that, that's going to help you if you want to rename your um, presets as well. Okay, so it, whoops, whoops, oh my gosh. It made it longer than it was supposed to be. <laughs> okay, again, hairstyle. Ready? All over here. There she is. And now this is back in the program. So if you had imported a new one, it would be here now. So it would be in that folder. My dra dragging and dropping it would be as if you imported it into that folder, right? So that's that's kind of why I wanted to do it. But I also wanted to rename it to show you that you can, in fact, rename these presets so that you can more easily identify them. And having those two folders so that you can identify which one it is exactly, so that you've also backed them all up just in case something happened. Now, Blue Moon is named Blue Moon and is... This is especially going to be useful if you are selling this as a preset right now. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can import presets from the beta version. So models from beta should show up here. Um, I didn't have to do anything to make that happen. It just automatically happened. So I guess it may depend on where you've installed things, but hopefully this is an easy process for you. So I'm just going to pick someone. Let's go with her. Uh, select a destination file, so I'm just going to save it there. You can have a very specific file where you save everything, um, or you might just have them all over the place. It's fine, it's fine. Mine are kind of all over the place. I need to get a little bit more organized, but uh, if you click on those three dots on the that image of the characters, you can open the location file, so that's a quick trick for you if you're like, oh god, where did I store this model because I need the, you know, the Void model file for some reason. So, yep, we're just going to convert. And the reason I chose this is because I created her hair using the presets that were already in the original beta version, okay? Whereas some of these are either, um, you know, commission related or things that I've made. Okay, so go to her hairstyle. What you'll notice is you go to the overall hair. This is an unsaved item now completely, so we're going to edit this. You could just save it from here, that's fine. But what I want to, to show you is that uh, there are some models in the beta version where they already have a bunch of presets, different fringes, different parts of the hair. And if you're familiar with it, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you're wondering, how the heck do I get that in here? Well, this is how you would do it. And then you would, you know, unhide certain items from here. Uh, oops, it's easy. You just, it's gonna go a bit crazy. <laughs> you know, unhiding all this stuff. Um, yeah. There's just so much, there's so much going on that you can potentially do. But I know she looks crazy. She looks crazy right now. But I'm just using this as an example that these are or like the old beta pre preset thing. So you could just import one model that has all of that in it and then save them in here individually as you make adjustments to them because you can duplicate your models and so you could just have one of these, duplicate her, and then, you know, save all of the parts that you want to. But we're gonna close without saving. <laughs> um, otherwise you would save as new item. See? Because now her hair's gone janky. So what I'm actually gonna do 
is go back to the model selection. We're not going to save the changes to her. Then I'll go back to her model. Just let it load, you know, without the janky hair that I just yeeted upon her. Uh, go to the hairstyle, the overall hair, and then I can right click on this, save as new item. And there it is. Okay, so we've saved the hair preset. It is now going to show up uh, in the all hair. There's a new, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yep, there's a new one there. So we renamed Blue Moon. We've got a new Freud hair preset. It should have the 24th, the second. So we can identify that it is this one. And I can even name it if I want to. Uh, but yeah. It's a little bit janky, but this is one of the combinations from the original Void Beta Studio. I didn't use it for anything. I was going to uh, do some custom clothes on it, which are much easier to do in the stable version anyway. But now I'm going to delete it. <laughs> and now the preset's gone. So that is how you do presets. You can rename them in the updated version. And this is just a really good uh, thing to have somewhere. So save this in a notepad, just so that you always have it for reference because sometimes you can go through quite uh, long periods of time before you have to access the folder and then you might forget it again. So that's just why I have this here. I hope that this video helped you in some capacity. I will be getting some of my original hair presets updated and up on my booth store if you're interested in those. And yeah, overall, just hope that this hell is entertaining or helpful or just you might go, eh, I already knew that or eh, that was not helpful. So let me know if it was eh, unhelpful and what it is that you needed to learn about their presets. But I think it's pretty self-explanatory once you know how to access the right file and which type of file you're looking for. So the new one is a .void custom item. The old one is the .json folder file type. And yeah, I hope this helped. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Jenny.